then there's him. Hungary's Prime Minister, Viktor Orban, has stood in the way of the European Union's uninterrupted aid to Ukraine. The two sides have been at loggerheads for quite some time now. Hungary's position also assumes significance because it is a part of the military alliance known as NATO. Budapest has dragged its feet on approving aid to Ukraine. The EU has stalled funding to the Orban-led nation. And the Prime Minister is in no mood to relent. Hello and welcome. This is Sambir Singh Ranhotra and you are watching First Post. Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban said on Friday that he will continue to oppose a European Union plan to provide 18 billion euros in aid to Ukraine in 2023. Although he agrees that Kiev needs help, he has strictly opposed the EU's approach. He said, and I quote, The question is how to help Ukraine. One proposal says that we should use the budgets of the EU member states to take out new loans together and use that money to give to Ukraine. He added, and I quote, we are not in favor of this because we do not want the European Union to become a community of indebted states instead of a community of cooperating member states. You see, Orban's point is this. Instead of the bloc coming together for aid to Ukraine, as European unity dictates, each country should shell out money in line with their own capacity. For instance, Hungary is willing to provide Ukraine with about $160 million, an amount he said would not fundamentally harm Hungary's national interests. That's not all. Hungary, although it is part of the EU and NATO, has taken a pro-Russia stance. It believes Europe's sanctions on Moscow have done no good. Though Hungary did vote in favor of the sanctions, Orban likes to see himself as a key ally of Putin. But this has put the European Union in a spot of bother. After all, how can an EU member state support Russia, right? Officials in Brussels also see this move as a strategy by Hungary to arm twist the EU. Mind you, this stinging opposition when it comes to aid for Ukraine has a background. Hungary's economy is in the doldrums. Its inflation rate of 21.1% is the highest in the globe. Ouch. As a result, it is in desperate need of money to stay afloat. The EU had promised to take Budapest out of this mess. It had decided on a 13.3 billion euro package split into two. 5.8 billion euros come from COVID recovery funding and 7.5 billion euros represent <coughs> under two thirds of the EU's budget for Hungary. But then in September this year, the EU suspended around 7.5 billion euros in regular funding to Hungary over concerns about democratic backsliding and the possible mismanagement of EU money. It said Budapest did not adhere to all the conditions it had laid out for getting the aid money from the bloc. Petri Sarabama, a member of the European Parliament's Committee on Budgetary Control, said, and I quote, If EU citizens' money cannot be protected against irregularities, then it cannot be disbursed. This was a major setback for Viktor Orban, who has been in power since 2010. His latest remarks come precisely in this context. The EU feels he is trying to blackmail them and put pressure so that the funds are disbursed. The bloc is clear. It won't do so. But then it will have to put up with Hungary's staunch opposition. Do you think the Hungary EU impasse will be resolved? Do let us know in the comments. Well, I just find that to be interesting. Politics will always destroy good intentions. Good intentions are only intentions. They're not works. Be kind, helpful, and grateful. Like, share, and subscribe. Buy some silver and some platinum. Do good works. Screw intentions.